Hello, this is Danny on Lake Cote, and in this video, I'll be going over how to um, practice playing Invoker, like mechanically invoking all the spells, uh, how to practice combos, some more advanced combo practice, just getting a feel for all the spells in general. So just to start off, this is like the most beginner thing, I guess. Uh, so I have this website pulled out. What is it called? It's invokergame.com, right? Very simple. So you have these different modes. You have survival. Uh, how long can you take it? So I don't think I've tried that one. I've basically just done the classic one for the most part. That was the only thing that I've ever used for Invoker. And the classic one is it'll tell you a spell to invoke, and you have to invoke all 10 spells as fast as you can. It'll tell you which one each at a time. So I'll just showcase that right now. Uh, I'll just play without submitting scores. So uh, let's see here. So I didn't really try to go too fast. There's a lot of pressure when you're on video, I guess. I don't know. But that was just kind of a simple... It was just a simple demonstration of uh, how you can practice just invoking 10 spells at a time. So you can play again. There's some... You know, execute as many combos. I'm sure that's a good one. Hattrick, invoke three times combos. Random. You get random one to three spells. Um, and you know, there's endless, so it's this is probably the best one to be honest. The endless one, if you just want to get a feel for invoking spells one at a time. Um, so I'll just try and showcase it, it'll just keep going, right? And this is probably the best way to do it. Um, you can also do this in game, which I'll show as well, but I think this is probably the best learning tool for people who are just beginning invoker or really want to just get a feel for the. Like, if you're misinvoking a lot, or you don't remember which spell's which, this is the best way to go. And you can get a lot of uh, practice in this way. So the next step beyond this, I think, once you get a good feel for how to invoke each spell, and I'll show this in-game if I can real quick, is I just head into a demo lobby uh, these days. I don't use that website anymore. Or, like, there was an uh, earlier iteration of it, I believe. If not, if it was made by someone else a long time ago when I first started playing Dota, because I was interested in learning Invoker. And I just go into a demo lobby, maybe put free spells on, and I'm just trying to get through like a very simple rotation that never changes. And I just try to invoke every spell. I try to use every spell as well, but if I have no target to cold snap, then I'm not going to use cold snap. So the, the rotation I just like have by muscle memory at this point is I do tornado, meteor, deafening blast, uh, ice wall, sun strike, EMP, cold snap, ghost walk, and I will just invoke this over and over again during Q even if I'm bored, if I'm practicing a lot of Invoker that day. It's not the most efficient way to practice. Um, I don't think the order matters too much in terms of what you're like looking for. Uh, maybe doing it like in a random order might be better or more efficient. It really depends on how you want to do it. I just get a feel for invoking the spells and actually casting them after because on the website, as you saw, I wasn't necessarily casting the spells, I was just invoking them. I think in the other game modes I mentioned on that website, there are ones where you, uh, like, maybe have to press the D or F hotkey, but I use different hotkeys anyway, so I just prefer to do it in-game. And I'll just try and go as fast as I can without messing up. Uh, I usually, like, if I'm going really, really fast, I'll probably mess up during, like, the second rotation. Like, I'll try and show... Yeah, like... If I'm trying to go really fast, I start messing up, but the, okay, I just did some Windows thing too. But the important thing to note is you don't have to go that fast, it's just um, to get a feel for it. So as long as you're able to invoke it within a two second cooldown, right? So like, let's say, let's say I don't have free spells on, if I'm just, if I need my items to do this, maybe even uh, offering for like, you're going to have a lot of downtime to get your orbs up between spells if you're chaining up spells. So if you're messing up a lot, it's nothing to worry about, really. It's, like I said, it's just to get a feel for invoking really fast. The order doesn't matter, or however you want to do it. I have that simple little, like, every spell, one by one uh, rotation I do, and I just try to get really fast with it. But, yeah. Um, beyond this... 
Yule's combos aren't too popular anymore, and it's kind of the same thing as having like a lot of points in Quas and doing uh, tornado combos anyway. So the one combo I suggest you learn a lot. Um, this is like a very basic four spell combo uh, if you're trying to kill a lot of heroes. So let me just create an Abaddon here real quick. Let me level it to 25, give it a heart. And I also give them bots. And it's really important that they have like a lot of movement speed. And I'll just put them on patrol. I also have an observer ward. And the reason it's on patrol is because if they're moving left and right, and you try to like tornado at this angle, uh, if you're not clean enough with your combo, they'll move out of the way in time, and they'll get sent off in a different direction. So. Um, a couple simple ones, make sure I don't have free spells on, is let's say I'm really far away. You can do it with or without Blink, it doesn't matter too much. Or even from the low ground, it's a nice one. Is as soon as I invoke Tornado, I invoke my next spell, and I push him along. It's a nice four spell combo, it did about 2,000 damage to him. Um, for single target, this is like kind of your team fight combo, I guess. For single target, what you want to do is uh, Sunstrike. So as soon as I get my Cyclone out, I invoke Sunstrike and I get the full combo off and it'll do a bit more damage. I think it was like what, this time it was 3300 damage or 2300 damage, sorry. So you get a little more damage out of that just because Sunstrike does pure damage and um, it's not based on how much mana you drain as well. So if they don't have a big mana pool, like he has 800 mana. If he only had half his mana left after a team fight, you're not going to get a lot of damage out of EMP anyway. You want to be able to practice this with Sunstrike. So um, it's a lot easier to land the EMP combo, basically because you just cast it right after Tornado. You don't have to do any timing, but Sunstrike has a very similar timing to, to Meteor. So that's kind of that combo. Uh, you can also practice uh, this way, like trying to ice wall like that, like on weird angles. And I usually do this with free spells on. So if I wanted to get a nice ice wall off, like from the low ground, it's a good one to practice. You can also do like a cyclone into ice wall. So that's a nice one. And um, it, you're not going to get too many situations where you're going to have to do that, but it's just nice like to, to practice the mechanics of, of ice wall. Uh, it is a lot harder to to kind of do that than it looks. I've managed to do it on my first try both times. I don't think it's too difficult, but it's it's definitely a lot harder than I made it look. I'll tell you that much to, just because it sh shoots out perpendicular, perpendicular to your hero and like high grounds and cliffs make angles weird in this game, or at least for me. So what else do we got here? Um, you can also practice just like landing sun strikes. So he has 400 movement speed, you'll probably end up there. Uh, I probably put free spells on and I just get used to sun striking, so I missed one already. And then if you wanted to fiddle around like trying to hit heroes with different movement speed, you can spawn different heroes or uh, take the boots away. So if I wanted to just put the boots in the backpack, this is, would be like an early game sun strike before they have boots, right? Uh, you can change the patrolling pattern as well, or like just shift to them all over the place. But there's not much point to that. You're mostly going to be going for sun strikes on people who are um, going from like in, going in a straight line or in a specific path because you're trying to predict their movement. You can also wait for nighttime or something, and then take this ward away, and just kind of predict where they are. Like, say you're up here, and then you blink to the low ground for a couple seconds. You try to predict where they are. That can help for that. There's just a lot of stuff you can practice on Invoker and a lot of cool stuff to do. Okay, so the last combo I wanted to show you guys was the Refresher Hex combo uh, with the double Meteor, double Sunstrike. This is the highest damage combo you can do as Invoker. It's also the hardest one to practice. Um, the basics of it is you have Deafening Blast out first. You Sheep, Deafening Blast, Meteor, Invoke, Sunstrike, Sunstrike, Refresh, Meteor, Sunstrike, Deafening Blast, Hex again. And you want to practice it on um, a hero with a lot of movement speed going left to right, and you want to do it from either the low ground 
or like at some weird angle. Not the you don't want to push them in the direction they're already running because uh, you want to chain your deafening blasts together so that they don't move out of the way. Like you want to be fast enough to be able to do that. So I might mess this up a few times, but we'll get a couple good ones hopefully. I'm not too practiced at this, so yeah. So I was too far away to cast my next meteor. That's what happened there. But uh, we'll get this. Don't worry. So like that. I didn't hex him the second time, but I still got a lot of damage out. He's going to die, in fact, with two hearts. So I don't know what the exact maximum damage you can do with this combo, but you can do, like, as long as you're doing 4,000, right? I mean, that's a lot. And it's all magic damage slash pure damage, so it doesn't matter how much armor they have either. I might have right-clicked them once or something. And I just have, like, two bots. Um, I should have gave them more hearts like this one. And I just have them patrolling left and... Uh, from bottom to down and then I go like perpendicular to them so that uh, They try to move out of the way of my second deafening blast essentially. That's the, like the best way to practice it So I'll just have these two guys going from left to right and I'll try and do it from the low ground too for that added difficulty Because uh, if you just do it like this and I'll show you how easy it is um, to do it if they're like coming at you or like with this direct angle so Oh, my refresher was cool down. That's what happened. I thought I refreshed it today. So if you just do it like this, then they're already walking through your meteors anyway. I didn't get the second deafening blast off. It's a bit lazy, but um, you want to be practicing it from here. Just trust me on this. It's a lot harder to do, but it'll be better for you to learn. just because I'm not fast enough. Here, we'll try and get them a little closer to the cliff just so I don't mess it up for the video, to be honest. I don't mind missing, it's just I don't want to miss on video and then get laughed at. So... There we go. That, both of them should have hit. I did around 4,000 damage. Should do a bit more damage than that, I think. I might have missed one of my sun strikes or something, but it's hard to tell when I'm doing the combo. So... I do miss the first jump strike like that. That's what happened. So we'll take that into account. There we go. Both sun strikes landed. He got permanently pushed into the meteors, and it did 3,500 damage, which I think is not the max, but it's a good amount. I mean, I landed it. I think I killed this guy from full, and he has 4,000 HP. So maybe I didn't chain my deafening blasts like 100%. So uh, we'll just try again on this little buster dude. Oh, I did it again. I'm not casting my meteor right away. That's why I do that. I was having trouble with this earlier too, where usually I just do this and then it's a lot easier to judge where to, to use my further sun strikes. And I think it's because he's getting pushed up against the wall, which makes it a little easier, too, for me to do more damage. But you get the idea. That's, like, kind of the hardest combo Invoker has. You can also practice it by doing uh, EMP instead of Sunstrike if you were to somehow catch two people. Well, you, you wouldn't, but... You can also kind of practice Refresher combos uh, opening up with uh, Cyclone. So kind of like that. Um... Wasn't the best combo, but it did a billion damage, so who cares? Uh, you can... I think I already covered the Ice Walls, but that's about it for practicing Invoker. There's a lot of stuff you can do from beginner to advanced. Like, this is the most advanced thing I think you could practice. You'll probably never get to use this in a real game. This is like going for a solo kill on a hero with 4,000 HP that you have to get some sick refresher, super awesome combo on where you're probably going to end up saving Refresher for a team fight. Like, it's not the most practical thing, but maybe one out of a thousand games, you come into a situation where everyone's dead except for you and their big, super strong carry Spectre or something with 3,000 HP, and you have to do them dirty because no one else has buyback, and then you buy a bunch of rapiers and kill their throne, and you get your sick super ultra combo you've practiced in your mom's basement for seven years, and you get to be the invoker you've always wanted to be, right? Like, maybe it comes up, and it's, it's just good for mechanics anyway, getting a feel for how um, to land Sunstrikes off of Death Thing Blast pushes. 
it's definitely helped my game a lot to kind of get into lobbies and do this. Like when I was spamming Invoker a couple patches ago, because uh, I wasn't too good at the exor exor exort build, exoker. <laughs> I wasn't too good at the exort build since uh, most of my games from a long time ago were on Quaswex, and I was never really that good at Invoker. I just pressed the three Quaswex spells and ran around right clicking people with a right click build. <laughs> Uh, I put a lot of time into this hero, learning how to land all the combos and all the spells, and uh, hopefully uh, showing you how I practice and how I learned from basically the beginning, of, like using that one website to uh, do these sick, cool combos for the montage. That about wraps up this video, though. Uh, if you have any questions about, like, maybe you know a better way to practice, or um, you practice in a different way, or you have a question about, like, the methods on how I practice, let me know. Uh, I'll answer as many comments as I can. Thank you for watching.